Minecraft is a weird game, in the sense that, even though it wouldn't look out of place on a Windows 98 PC, it's still infamous for its poor performance. So how on earth is that even possible? How can a game that looks so basic like Minecraft can still crush PCs like it's nobody's business? Well, there's a few reasons for it. Firstly, there's more to rendering out a game than just the poly count and texture quality. Yes, your graphics card definitely won't be rendering as many polygons in Minecraft than in many other games, but that's not the only thing that has to be calculated. Mob spawning behavior, mob pathfinding, and of course calculating and rendering in new chunks as you approach them. So not only do you need a decent CPU to have it all be done in real time, but of course you also need a decent amount of memory to keep track of all of it. As every single entity and chunk and any commands being ran in the background all need to be stored somewhere. And that is where the first major problem comes in, because unlike something like Google Chrome, uh, Minecraft is very humble in how much RAM it allocates to itself, and in most cases it only allocates roughly 2 gigabytes, which is not a lot in 2021. And it's not just because it doesn't need more, because if you manually allocated more RAM, then it will gladly take it. And you can probably see why in a game like Minecraft having more RAM to keep track of everything would be useful. So the fact that more often than not it limits itself to just 2 gigs is definitely a big bottleneck. But another key reason is how Minecraft uses your CPU. For the longest time, Minecraft has been pretty much a single core application, and single core performance was king for years. However, in the recent updates, Mojang have been doing a lot to ensure that Minecraft uses more threads across more cores. But that doesn't mean it's still doing it efficiently. I mean, you remember that after all, Minecraft at one point was an indie game, ran by a small studio somewhere in Sweden, and is well known for not having the most amazing code back in the day. So making it more of a multi-threaded and multi-core task has been definitely a bit of a challenge for the team. And to this day, even though it uses a lot more threads, it's still not using them super efficiently and the main core that the game is assigned still does most of the grunt work and that's why single core performance is still super important to Minecraft. But one very interesting thing that many people spot is that you tend to have better performance on a server. You'd imagine that having to connect your game to a, another PC somewhere would decrease performance, but no, servers are actually kind of cool when it comes to increasing performance. And if you're ever struggling for performance yourself, you could even start a server on your own PC and then connect to it, and then you should hopefully see improved performance. But you may be asking, how on earth can that work? How on earth having to run both the server and the Minecraft client on my PC improve performance? Well, the explanation is frankly kind of simple, and that is that most of the calculations will then be carried out by the server, which is assigned its own allotment of resources on your PC. So for example, even though your Minecraft client can still be maxed out at 2GB of total memory, the Minecraft server could have as much memory as the person running it can assign to it. And even if you're hosting your own Minecraft server, you can assign as much RAM as you want to it, as long as you have the physical RAM there. Not only that, but of course, the server also gets its own allotment of CPU resources. Servers improve your performance because they're basically splitting up the work, with the server doing a lot of calculations and storing much of the stuff in its allocated RAM and CPU resources, while your Minecraft client does a lot less work, thus improving your performance by taking advantage of more resources across your PC or across a server somewhere on the other side of the world if you're connected to some external server. But if you don't want to go as far as hosting your own Minecraft server, and by the way I made an awesome video talking about how you can do it yourself, which can be up in iCards, then you can also simply just increase the total amount of allocated memory your Minecraft client gets by simply going into the installments tab in the launcher, going into one of your Minecraft version installations and changing this Java argument in the bottom. Just change the number before the G2 how many gigabytes of RAM you want the client to use. So there it is, Minecraft's performance summed up. If you found this video helpful or interesting in any way, then maybe check out my Patreon, which is going to be down in the video description below. Because even one dollar a month goes a long way in helping my channel, and it allows me to make way better videos and also videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love to thank my Patreons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Tiffany Jacobs, and Wolfie. Thank you all so, so much. Then I usually going to find our Amazon associates links, our old customs affiliate link, along with our Discord server if you want to talk to me or others about this or whatever else really. And that's what it's, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next.
Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.